easy for you to be judgmental, isn't it? I suppose it is. When I look at you, I want to run away. Be hunky-dory with me. Where do you want to go? Any place, as long as it's far away. South Pole? Except you'll still be stuck with your past. I want you to know something. As much as you blame me, I blame myself even more. Oh, I doubt that. You see, your anger, Mason, I can deal with that. I even almost welcome it. Because I can counter it. It's Cece who just pulls... pulls away that I can't handle. But holding is what he's best at. He's very effective. I'm losing my family. One by one. I don't know what to do about it. Hmm. Huh. Of course, you realize Kelly is next. She's going to have to be told about your part in all this. Another thing you won't be able to run away from. Do you think, uh... <laughs> no, I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't go on if Kelly hated me. <laughs> well, don't borrow trouble. Luckily for you, she's nothing like me. She's much more forgiving, much kinder. She'll understand then, you think? Don't you think that's asking awful lot. She'll be angry at first, but she won't hold it against you forever. Any more than Ted will when he hears. After all, you are their mama. And you, Mason, will you hold it against me forever? <laughs> Does that matter? Yes. It matters a lot because I love you. Whether you want that love or not, it's true I do. Ah, oh, yes, love. It is too rough, and it pricks like a thorn. Isn't it amazing that one poet knew everything about every facet of love? How it sears the heart. Well, never mind. I think your time would be better spent, Sophia, pondering whether or not you've lost your family.